So another thing that I realize comes up a lot is when people talk about engine oil viscosity and um, you know whether they use uh, conventional or synthetic blends or synthetics. Um, my standpoint on this, and this is you know backed by you know uh, ASC certified master technicians, uh, people in the field, and and you know my views personally is I would always stick with a synthetic or a synthetic blend. Um, what you're going to get out of it is a lot better wear protection on your engine. When you're thinking about clearances in your engine of, you know, 30 thousandths of an inch, which is like your human hair, take that and divide it by 30. And those are the clearances you're looking at in your engine, about a thousandth of an inch. So when you're using a conventional oil, which is, you know, less filtered, has less wear uh, protectors in it and stuff like that, it's not going to really benefit you to do that. Um, so I stick with synthetics and... Uh, synthetic blends. Um, as far as weightings go and rates, you know, like 5W30, as opposed to 10W30, 20W50, I would stick with exactly what it says on your engine oil cap, unless there was a recent update via all data or process or anything like that, or Mitchell On Demand that says you should use a, you know, a, a, a thinner or a thicker um, oil blend. Basically, there's a lot of engineering and testing that goes into this to figure out what works best for your engine, and the company who makes it knows exactly what they want to do. So. If your cap says 5W30 on it, stick with 5W30. Um, as you get higher up in mileage, you know, in the 100,000, 150,000 mile range, I would, I would suggest uh, uh, raising your, your weight a, a little bit. If, if you're maybe 5W30, I'd go to 10W30. Only because your clearances have theoretically expanded a little bit due to wear and, and, and such. So that's, that's my take on that as far as that goes. Um, so next time you're buying your oil, um, make sure to, uh, to keep that in mind. Also realize that with oil changes, you should always change your filter and use a quality filter because this is one of the parts that is the most important, important, important thing for your engine to have is, is a good quality filter. So spend the extra couple bucks and make sure to do that with the combination of good engine oil, the right engine oil, and a good filter. Your car should last a very long time, and you'll be very happy. All right.